Today we're making a video on how to perm your hair. This is what my hair looks like. See this shit's flat as fuck. And I have it up like this. Now we're gonna see the after. Alright, I'll show you the process. These are basically what you're gonna need. You need um, the rollers, different sizes, are for different curl sizes. As you can see, like white is bigger. You'll have looser curls. Gray is tighter and smaller. Um, I normally use a mixture of all of them just because I don't have enough rollers. And you're gonna need these white papers. And you put these on the end of your hair before you perm it. Or I guess before you put it in the roller, you wrap it around. Yeah, you also need the perm solution, which I'll show you. You can use any any brand just make sure you do your research before you pick that that's all you really need and the towel this is the perm solution i used it's the omni perm one formula acid perm it's super cheap it's like 10 bucks from sally beauty and you want to make sure you get the non-exothermic one because for the exothermic you need heat and stuff and it's just way more work so you want to wash your hair before just because you're not going to be able to wash it for two or three days and it makes the sectioning way easier so what i'm doing in this section is i'm getting my hair sectioned and wrapped you want to put the paper on the end before you roll it up and then you want to make sure your rollers are nice and tight once all the rods are in nice and tight like you can see you want to mix the activator with a perm solution and wait about 30 seconds you can shake it gently and then you want to cut the top off the cap and just pour it in your hair make sure all the rods are saturated though once the perm solutions in your hair you want to put on the bag it's gonna smell like shit so get that thing on quick and you want to wait about 20 minutes it could vary depending on your product but I know for Omniperm it's 20 minutes after the 20 minutes you can rinse your hair for about five minutes after you're done rinsing you want to towel dry your hair and put the last bottle which should be neutralizer into your hair you can see it being poured here but you want to save about a quarter or like 15 milliliters of the bottle you want to leave this neutralizer in your hair for about five minutes then once five minutes has passed you can finally take out the rods and you're gonna put the rest of that 15 milliliters in your hair like you can see I'm doing now that's gonna sit for about a minute or two and then you can rinse your hair again for about three to five minutes and your perm's done last thing you got to do is wait about two days before you can shampoo or conditioner. This is a day later. End result, it's 360. So you can rock it up, you can rock it down. I like it up. Don't wash your hair for two to three days after you get your perm. You're gonna have to rinse it after you finish, but after that, you don't wanna get it wet, you don't wanna put shampoo or conditioner, nothing in it for two to three days. After that, yeah, do whatever you want, conditioner, shampoo, and make sure it's nice. And then after, to maintain it, you wanna put lots of conditioner, make sure it's nice and hydrated to make sure your curls are nice. Forgot to tell you one quick tip, your hair's gonna look pretty shitty for the first two to three days before it gets washed. It's gonna look really dry and crusty looking. It's kinda gotta suffer for those two, three days, and then after, you know, get some conditioner in that, and your curls will look, look nice. Mine look decent, but I'll have another video up showing you the final results with like conditioner and all the products in. Oh, your hair will be looking good. Hope you like your perm. Good luck, guys. All right.